webcams, they kind of suck. At least the ones in your laptop do. This is my MacBook Pro's webcam, and I can't say I'm impressed. I've seen a lot of people complain about the new ones in the MacBook Air, and they're not much better than most of the PCs I've used either. They are great at being there when you need them. They're included, they're built in the screen, and they're portable. Fantastic. But that's about all they're good for, in my opinion. This one's pretty blurry, pretty soggy, and pretty rubbish. And in my last video, I said, once you've got your lighting sorted, you may want to, you know, get yourself a new webcam. Something which looks a bit more like this. This is my Canon DSLR. I'm not actually suggesting you buy this. There's a few reasons. One, it's £250. It's also a great camera for that price. That's actually pretty good for a DSLR. And that includes a great lens for the price. It's also a real pain. So Canon brought out a load of drivers that let you use their DSLRs as webcams at the beginning of the COVID outbreak. And I was all for that. I, I love DSLRs. I love the fact they give me this blurry background. I love the fact I can control the aperture, I can control the ISO, I can control the zoom, and I can make you go to sleep with all the stuff I can control. I don't enjoy the fact that it's finickety, it puts lag in the video that I have to then sort out, and a whole host of other problems. If you're the kind of person who goes, oh, I really, really want my camera to look like that, just buy the Canon, you already know what you're doing. Um, I also have some other issues with it. It doesn't actually do HD. It does something a bit less than HD. It's not full HD. And that means it looks really good in the corner of a screen or in a Zoom call. If you're trying to make a full screen YouTube video, actually it's not the best. But I wasn't going to go out and buy another camera to just do a full screen YouTube video. So this is what you're going to get. But I have got some other webcams I want to show you because they're things that are more likely going to solve what the average person wants. I can also show you what not to buy because I made that mistake. Here we are, the Logitech 930. I think this is the C because it has a little cover over its camera and I'll put it in front of the other camera at some point, but you can't film the camera on a camera, it's a bit annoying. Um, I think this is a great webcam. I think the picture looks so much better than what we saw with the webcam built in the laptop. The thing I dislike about the 930 over the 920 uh, is tiny. It's got a slightly wider angle so it goes out further and I quite like to have my camera pointing a bit tighter. I don't want to show my whole office. It's not that exciting. I haven't even got the picture up on the wall yet. Um, but as webcams go, this is cheap. It's under £100. It has a cover on it which I do think is actually useful for when you want to um, use a laptop or have it set up in a room that you might do other things in or your kids are going to play and you don't really want the webcam being left on by mistake. And I just think it is a no-nonsense, works right out of the box. I'll put a link to it underneath the video. Tell me what you think. Compare it to the Canon. Tell me if you actually think it's worth the extra money for the Canon. I think this is a fab camera. And I think it's worth realizing not all web cameras are the same because this one, I can happily recommend yeah, this is exactly the same price as the Logitech. This is a Microsoft LifeCam. Uh, I bought it because they used to be good. It might work better with Windows. I haven't actually tried. I just gave up on it. Um, it's useless. So not all webcams are equal. Not all are the same price point. And this, I think, really shows how great that Logitech is. I think actually what it's doing right now is it's focusing on the wall behind me. Um, my face is right here. I can manually focus it. I mean, I might just do that now. So if you go into the... Um, settings, show webcam settings, uh, focusing, where's my focusing, advanced, focus, Let, let's just manually focus, okay, that's, that's even worse, isn't it, there you go, I mean, do you want to be playing around with this, I, I, I give up, it, it won't focus on, oh, there, um, that's it, this is me using my iPhone as a webcam, which unsurprisingly probably is the best camera here given it's four times the price of even my DSLR. There are a few issues I have with it. Uh, so this is, you have to buy an app to do it. I'm using an app called Epoch Cam. I think there's a non-HD version, which is free. You'll have to just check that. I find it just feels a bit laggy. Um, the frame rate feels a bit off. Uh, the image quality 
is fabulous, it's great, but then the audio is a bit out of sync. And this annoys me. Like, I find this really just... The image is brilliant. I just find getting the audio and the video out of sync and having to redo that is a real pain. I don't know if I could say this is the best way to go. This is actually running over a USB cable, so it, it can do this over Wi-Fi. I don't think it'll be any better. You might be able to change the resolution, sort it out. Again, it's all that faff and stuff I don't think anyone wants. If I was going to use my phone as a camera for teaching, what I would do is actually put my phone in the tripod, film on my phone, put a thing into the headset to actually use a microphone on some earbuds or something, and film directly on the phone and export it from there, because then the sound sync will be fine, the um, the image quality will be fantastic because the camera is good. Using it as a webcam, I don't know, it is 15 quid worth saving spending even versus saving that over buying the Logitech. I think generally most people will just be happy buying the Logitech, but it's a cheaper option, thought I would show you. Last thing I'm going to do is show you them all at once. This is going to go a bit laggy, probably, uh, so we can't be so clear about which ones have got the audio issues and which haven't. But you will be able to compare the differences, and I think there you'll see that this will look much better than perhaps it feels here. Every camera at once on the screen. So why I'm moving my hands isn't just because I'm excited. Uh, it's good to see how the movement looks. And actually, when they're this size, I think all these cameras look fairly good. I think when you shrink them down, which is what they're going to be in Zoom, it's a bit hard. The live cam still looks terrible. I still look like I have sunburned myself. My webcam over here looks, to me, really, really blurry. Uh, I think the iPhone looks a bit better here. I, it, I don't like the way it makes me look because I think it's picking up every detail. Whereas I think the Canon, which is why I like it, is doing a great job of giving me a good look. Um, sort of just generally looks more human and less computerized. And I do like that blurry background. But then we have all those complications with audio delay and other things. And right now, you can probably see that some cameras are more in sync than others. <sighs> to me, it's a no-brainer. Of all the stuff I've got here, and I've got far too much here, that Logitech is absolutely fantastic for bang for buck. Buy the Logitech. That's the answer. That's what we got to. Uh, this is it. I've, I've taken it off now. See, I, I like this little flap thing. Uh, that's not on all of them. It's, I'm sure you can probably buy it off eBay later. Just clips on. Um, it's got a nice little thing that that sits over your monitor, which is cool. Um, lights up to tell you it's on. I mean, not a huge amount to talk about webcam from the outside. Uh, it also has a little tripod mount, so this will also fit in the light ring I showed you. So fundamentally, I buy this. That's, that's what the 930 looks like. The difference is the silver becomes black on the 920. It does 1080p. It's a webcam. I mean, I got very excited enough to make a video about it, but I, I, I don't expect you to love it once you got it. I mean, it's, it's a webcam. But this one's good. So, webcams. Which one to buy? I told you. Don't need to think about it anymore. Unless you want to fiddle with stuff. And then, play with any of the other ones I showed you. Let me know. Drop it down in the comments below. Um, what you think?